Hello, hello, and welcome back to another music reaction with me, your host, Rachel. I'm an avid music lover and singer, and today we're going to be listening to Bad Wolves. This is not a band that I've listened to before. Um, the song that they are singing, or they are playing, is Zombie, which is actually originally done from The Cranberries. Uh, so I'm interested to hear what kind of spin they put on it. Let's see. they were gonna have a collaboration on the song and she was gonna reprise her role <sighs> that makes me a little sullen so like that first part i was kind of like oh I'm like that's sad um but it is lovely that the proceeds for this video went to her children so that is really sweet and very kind of of the band to do that um so far it's it's good um it's not blowing my mind but it's good uh i i quite like this song um i actually did it for uh an audition when i was going out for some uh musical stuff uh we had to pick a couple songs and i'm like i want a lower song um well there's some higher notes in there too but i mean it does get pretty low and i was like you know what that's what I want. I want to do that. And then obviously I had to pick two songs. So I picked it. I picked a, another one that was a little bit of a higher range, but, um, it holds a place in my heart. Let's just say that. Um, cause it is such a beautiful and powerful song. And I mean, they're doing a good job of covering it. Um, I wonder if they're going to do like a pit. I don't know. I guess a little bit of their own spin on it is what I was kind of looking for. I mean, the vocalist is, it's, his voice is great um and yeah everyone's doing a good job but i'm i kind of want to see if they put their own spin on it because um i mean that's kind of what covers are you know like it, it is honoring the original artist and their song and um but it's also transforming it in a way you know like it's it's if that makes sense it's like an ode to uh, to the original artist. So I'm curious to see if they put their own kind of like a little bit more of a spin on it, but we'll see.
I love, I love, I love, I love, sorry, I'm a fidgeter. So I, I like to, I like to sometimes fidget with things, um, while I'm, I'm watching. Cause then it helps me focus. Um, you just have those days and you know, I'm a little quirky. Um, I loved when they added the screams to the zombie part. I want, I wish they actually did more of that. Cause it just, it's like, like I said, it is like they're, they're representing like the, the original artist and their song, but it's always fun to, um, respectfully of course, but put a spin on it. Cause it's like, it is a cover of it. Um, and it just hits different when you scream the zombie part because the song itself has a very powerful message and so when you get to that part it just feels like this raw unleashing of emotion um so i hope they do it again before the end of the video because i i quite like that about it okay let's continue <laughs> Yeah, uh, I'm assuming that the golden woman was representing Dolores who passed away. Um, and it was like the bad wolves were kind of like connecting through this medium. Um, but yeah that's sad but i do like that they respected um her really and and just gave the donate like the the proceeds back to the family and then even at the end there, saying like the whole political unrest and all that stuff um that's still going on <laughs> that was 2018, but I'm like, you, you could probably put another year in there. Um, I feel like there's always a lot of stuff going on around the world, which is unfortunate. And um, it's such a beautiful and powerful song. And so it's it's good that they honor that as well. The message of the song of um, what it represents. Uh with that being said, uh, I did like, I've said, uh, so many times <laughs> I did like, like I said, I, I liked the screams that they added cause they layered it into, uh, Tommy's vocals. So I don't know if Tommy actually did it or if there was a, uh, someone else doing the screams cause I couldn't really see who was doing it in the video. So they might've just uh, layered that in post-production. Um, but I liked that, that they added it in. And I kind of wish it was a little bit more. Um, they could have just screamed zombie and I would have been happy. But they layered it and that's totally fine. It's still good. Um, but that's really sweet that they they honored her um, in that way. 
Rachel Sullen now. I didn't realize that she passed away in pretty recently. I mean, 2018, that's five years ago. Uh, okay. We are going to think the positive side of this video and its message and it, its its kindness to the family and etc. Uh, but regardless of that, I did like the video. I kind of wish they put a little bit more of their own spin on it, but I see what they were trying to do, like to just really, um, I think because of what happened um, during the time that they were gonna do this, uh, perhaps they just really stuck to the source material. Um, because it was such a, a trying time so but it was still good and i liked the screen layers and uh yeah yeah thank you so much for watching <laughs> i appreciate it uh if you liked it hit the like button hit the subscribe if you want to see more and um yeah i will see you all in the next video bye